My father was in the motorcycle business and a lot of people got killed in dirt track. I mean, it's, you know, it's not playing tennis. A lot of people take it for granted and punch your fucking telephones and run around and, and really don't dig into the, to the ground roots of it and find out how to do it themselves. need to not lose track of all that, in my personal opinion. You know, I think it's a, a pretty special year of, of, of what the past was. You know, in my opinion, it's the past is, was a great thing. You know, a lot of good racing, a lot of good people, you know, a lot of fist fights. <laughs> you know, that's when I'd eat nails and shit rust, you know. I think it's it's one of them things, man, once it gets into your blood, if you really love it, it doesn't matter. You know, it's kind of a cool thing to pull into a racetrack and know that everybody's afraid of you. <laughs> you know, it's it's a real special, f they look and go, oh, fuck, you know, the man's here. I demand respect. I like respect. When you got on the racetrack, when the green flag dropped, bullshit stop. First time I won Pike's Peak, cried, cried going across the finish line. And I got lucky and ended up winning it nine times in a row and put it in the book, you know, nine times. But to challenge the mountain is a, is a pretty heavy, it's a heavy deal, man. And you're calling the mountain out, you know, from 7,000 feet up to 14,000 feet. You know, a lot of people have tried and never got it done. Now here we are with, you, with British Customs and you guys stamped one out that's a copy of the Pikes Peak bike. You know, I mean, how cool does it get? You know, it doesn't fucking get any better now, does it? Let's take this puzzle and put it all together and make it a, a beautiful piece of equipment. To me, it's a, it's a real art and it's an honor to have people walk up to him and say, well, that's nice. <laughs>